hello everyone welcome to the another video tutorial on interest timers so in this tutorial we will cover how we can use timers to create awesome animation timers can be used in a application when action are required to be performed on specific event and for any particular duration so for example traffic signal light chemical mixing process or some action required to be performed for a certain duration like we can pop up notification window that should be closed automatically after 10 second or some decided duration so let's move on to our application and yes there is no inbuilt timers are provided by Intouch. so but it is very easy we can create timers using data change script and condition scripts so let's move on to our application so let's create one window okay to create a traffic light signal animation let's grab some lights okay now for just just for demo purpose our project will be I will I will turn on this first light for six second after that automatically second light will on for six second and third light will be remain on for six second okay so it will go in synchronous method okay so let's assign tag T sorry L R means light for red so initially it will be black and after turning on it should be red okay send the tag memory discrete is perfect so save and close for our second light light yellow okay so initial value initial color should be black and second color should be yellow okay save third light green lg so initial color should be black and on true condition it should be green so it is perfect memory discrete save it and close okay now very first thing we need to do is in the script open data change now if we want to change the data or we want to create a condition for some seconds okay so then we need to use second function okay tag name second so when the data is changed mentioned in tag name it will perform below action so i want to increment one counter so c1 is equal to c1 plus one okay so what will be happen our counter value will increase at every one second okay so it will also work as incremental value at every one second so we can use that for our timer okay if you want to create an application for where you want to you want to get some action after some minutes so you can use also use minutes at the tag name okay right now i want to be it to be changed at every second okay so okay define the counter as an integer memory integer save close okay okay now second action we required is for condition now we need to define one condition we can define any condition so now our logic is we want to turn on this light for six second after that second light for six second and third light for six seconds so six is a 18 
so I just want to create condition our counter value c1 equal to 19 means when the condition is true c1 is equal to 19 then I want to set the value of counter again to the 1 okay so it will continue to follow in the sequence okay when the light third light will remain on for six seconds it will again turn on the first light okay so i am just resetting the counter after 19 seconds when the 19 second will be reached okay and i will create a window script logic for using if condition for each and every lights okay so we have established our counter for every seconds okay so now go to the window script our on show value for counter one should be zero okay and while show keep it every 100 millisecond the refresh rate okay and this is our logic for traffic signal light so we have decided the counter for 19 seconds so our first condition is when the counter 1 is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 6 then our light red red light should be on okay and for else red light should be off so for rest of the condition light should be remain off okay for counter 1 greater than or equal to 7 to less than or equal to 10 the yellow light should be on okay else for rest of the condition it should be off likewise 13 to 18 our green light should be on and for rest of the condition it should be off okay so this was very simple let's check so our red light is on right now and after six seconds yellow light will be on okay and after six seconds green light will be on okay so you can create any application using timer but you have to explain that timer into the script form okay you can also display the value of timer so you can watch how it is incrementing okay value display for counter one okay so let's again check so initial value will be zero second it will remain on for six seconds So as per our condition it will work okay now let's check second example for the timer it is very important to understand this example so you can you will be master of creating timers and can create any application as per your requirement so let me take another light let's select some different light okay. let's assign the tag name l5 okay simply we want the initial color black and when on true condition it should be green so okay define memory discrete it is okay save it close okay let's take one button now my expectation is when i press this button then our light should be remain on for certain duration so let's take uh, let's uh, take 20 seconds so when i press this button my light should be turned on for 20 seconds and then it should be turned off okay so very first let's go to data change and we will add the incremental value for some new counter 
let's say c3 counter 3 okay so our logic will be this so if the counter 3 value is less than or equal to 20 then c3 should be increment for 1 okay so it will be c3 equal to c3 plus 1 and we expect our l5 which is our light it should be on okay else for rest of the condition light l5 should be off so when the value of of c3 is greater than 20 then light will be off okay so this is very simple logic now just define c3 which is our counter it should be memory integer okay save and close okay. so now we want to control some initial values so when the our window will load we just we don't want to turn on this light direct directly and our condition was less than or equal to 20 to get it turn on so for initially I just want to keep counted 3 value more than 20 so let's take 21 okay so what I am doing when our form will load our light should not be automatically turned on without pressing the button so I am assigning the value which is out of our condition range okay so if you want to create an application for 30 seconds then you have to simply mention 31 here to get it remain off for rest of the condition okay okay and i will assign the less than 20 value the initial value to action script so our counter 3 value will be 0 when i press this button okay for rest of the condition it will be greater than 20 okay so what will happen when i press this button then only it will turn on the light okay and let's also display the value of c3 value display c3 okay let's check see as per our logic my initial value is 21 which is out of our range our if condition so our lights will remain off simply and now let's press this button so our value is 0 which fall to our less than or equal to 20 condition so our light will be remain on for 20 seconds okay and then this value will be accurate because we have used a data change script and tag seconds as a, a, a as a our parameter a counting parameter which is inbuilt function okay so after 20 seconds our light will be off so you can create any application where you want some automatic pop-up window and window should be closed after certain 10 seconds something like that you can create the logic you can create continuous timer okay if you are having difficulties to create any other to any other application where the timers are required and you can definitely ask me into the comment box okay so if you have any doubt or for any other project you can ask me into the comment box okay so thank you.